as we can see um, here in Austin, um, people are not vaccinated right now. And um, I just finished working uh, my clients today. It's Sunday, um, July, I believe it's July. Let me see here what today's date is. July 25th. And, um, you know, uh, right now Austin's in stage four and um, last year it took three months to get to this point. This time it's taken three weeks, which is unbelievable. I, I was informed about this and um, I'm, you know, to my knowledge, you know, I have not caught COVID. Uh, I got the stomach flu um, the last of a week. Um, about two months ago, and that was just a stomach flu. I don't think that had anything to do with COVID. Um, but I've been healthy ever since the pandemic started, um, and almost everyone I talked to has said they've had it. Um, they already had the COVID, and luckily they survived. They didn't end up in an ICU, and they just had mild, mild infections. But this, but you can get COVID twice. This Delta variant, I warned about when I first heard about this variant that that came out of India. Um, I warned about it. If you look back at at the videos when it, when I first started reporting about India's uh, new new variant, and I knew that this variant was going to be lethal and was going to take over all the other variants and and be the the cause um, this pandemic to to go back to where it was like it was in the beginning uh, last year, um, no, well early this year when it was when you know the United States had so many cases and stuff and and the only difference is that. 50% of, of, of the United States is, is fully vaccinated and the other 50 is not. And um, in my book, The Holy Protocol, I talk about the importance, because back this is back in November when I published the book, in November of 2020, when there wasn't enough information, but the Holy Spirit told me that, that the, the, what it, the Holy Spirit and my knowledge and nutrition and all the vitamins and all the, the part, protocol that you have to follow to, to stay safe and keep your immune system as necessary along with being vaccinated. And I wrote in the end of my book, um, this book here, um, that uh, being vaccinated was important. You know, for, at, that, at, that, at that point in time, back in 2020, it was important that, that high risk and older people, people over 60, get vaccinated as soon as possible when it was available. And now it's now gonna be a thing for everyone because this variant has, um, evolved and it's extremely infectious and, and, and almost seems as though it doesn't ma matter if you're vaccinated or not. Um, and so I would think the limiting factor with this is that, you know, the difference between having a mild quick infection, you know, um, and getting over it right away because you're healthy and you're taking all the necessary precautions and, and vitamins and stuff and keeping yourself fit and healthy that's going to matter. That's what it's going to boil down to, I believe. And so, um, again, this book here was inspired by the Holy Spirit, and um, I really believe in it. And I've been following this since since um, uh, 2020. Uh, it's when I, when uh, I started following this protocol, and uh, so uh, I'm just shaking my head. And I, I, you know, I, you know, right now. Um, you know, France is, is and other and some countries are starting to impose sanction uh, it mandates for people, requirements for people to get vaccinated, and, and a lot of people are up in arms. And and you know, I understand that people are worried about the mRNA vaccines not knowing enough. The Johnson and Johnson vaccine, I believe, is not an mRNA vaccine, so at least get that. You know, if if you're worried about the mRNA vaccine, but I I just don't want to play Russian roulette and and not knowing what's going to happen. Um, if I catch COVID, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 50 this year and, and a heart disease, well, heart disease and, and diabetes runs in my family. I don't have it, knock on wood, um, not that I know of. Um, so that puts me at risk, I believe. If I caught COVID, I think that uh, if I wasn't vaccinated, I'd probably be in the ICU somewhere on a ventilator, even though I'm fit, because of the fact that my blood, my, my genetics and blood and DNA is, um, I can get, you know, heart disease and, and, um, Diabetes, uh, don't onset diabetes mellitus. Uh, if if I wasn't wasn't fit and wouldn't take care of myself. So, guys, I'm I'm just telling you, um, get vaccinated. 
get vaccinated, please, you know, and, and uh, if the booster comes out, get, get the booster and, and do the best you can to stay fit and healthy and, and follow the Holy Protocol. I really believe in this book. Um, I've been following it and last year I've only gotten some flu and some flus are common, common. You just go eat, you know, and you get food poisoning or some flu, that's it. I don't consider that something uh, very serious, but uh, this, this, this stomach flu I had was pretty serious. Um, but so far, so good, I've, I've been okay. All right, guys, good luck.